Hello Aquarius, we're here with a love reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Aquarius. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Magician card, Aquarius. What are you up to? You are manifesting something. That is Gemini and Virgo energy. Let's see at the cut, we have the Six of Swords. That's your energy, Aquarius. So you have been moving away from something that has been troublesome from the past into a better, better place emotionally, physically, and spiritually. So let's look and see what your energy is as well as a person of interest for whom you've come to the reading to ask about. So let's see what your energy is. So I'll put your energy on the left, their energy on the right. We'll clarify. We'll look at present. We will look at combined energy and future energy. So stay tuned. Let's see. Oh, look at this. The devil is reversed. Okay. So I like this energy. It's better than the devil upright. So what it means is that something that you had held hopes for that is really not going to work out has been fully accepted by you. You have no desire to try to influence anybody. You really, you might have been dealing with a Capricorn. It may even involve a work situation. But you just no longer have any skin in the game. You are all about wanting to have a beautiful Pisces in your life. Somebody who's very calm, who's very kind, who's very sweet and makes romantic overtures. So look at you. Look at that energy. You're coming in with Empress energy into this new situation. The Hierophant card says that this, you're looking for someone who shares your belief system. You're also looking for someone who's on the same page with long-term commitment. This person may be a little bit younger than you, but you may ask them out. They could ask you out. That looks like it's going to happen in the next few weeks here, if it hasn't already. The Five of Swords, though, says that you have some sort of axe to grind. There is something, there was an argument, there was something that was difficult in the past. So let's look and see what their energy is. And we will clarify, and we'll use some Oracle cards to get the dancers. The Three of Cups. So your person really, really feels that you're one of their best friends. You know, starry nights, fun. Ooh, passion. The Leo King. This person really, it, they're super into you. So what's interesting here, though, is that your interest seems to be in the Knight of Cups, which could just be romance. But your person is coming in with a much stronger energy that you're, than you are. Uh, they are coming in with this energy of, I'm taking charge. I'm going to make sure that I play a leadership role in this relationship. We also have Sagittarius energy. So you're looking at Leo, Sagittarius, and Cancer. We're looking at Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius, Capricorn, Pisces, and Taurus again. So let's see what else we have. Oh, they see you as a soulmate. Their energy is that they see you as a soulmate, but they don't see you responding equally to them. So they are holding back. And that is very much Capricorn energy, okay? So let's pull one more card for their energy. They seem to be more into you than you are to them, to be perfectly honest. The Ten of Wands. This person thinks that there may be no alternative than to leave you behind. I feel as though with the Five of Swords energy that you've had a falling out. I also feel with this Temperance energy that, that your person wants to get back together with you, but obviously they don't have an option to do that if you don't allow it. So obviously, you know, what I'm seeing here is a person who's who wants to be wanted, and if they think that you don't want them, they will walk away. So let's see what the messages of love say. Why do we have the devil card reversed here? Why is the devil card reversed? Release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. That's exactly what you've done. So you really are you know, you're really willing to just let go of the relationship. Regret, someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. Well, so your person does feel remorse. We can see this. They do feel as though, you know, you have released them. So according to this card, you've already released them. They really want to come back. 
they don't want to let go. They're very possessive of you. They feel that you're their soulmate. Spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. All right. For some of you, this could be work-related. I don't think it's all romantic. for Not for everyone. Okay. Why do we have the Ten of Wands here? Where is this person coming from with that Ten of Wands? Interference. An external party is intruding on this relationship. Hmm. Okay. When I get the Hierophant card here, and I'm getting the Knight of Cups energy, you may be a person, you may be the one with a third party. The Soulmate card, though, is clarifying the Soulmate. Your person really feels as though you're the one who is bringing a third party, not them. So interesting energy. Marriage. This relationship is moving towards a sacred union. That's how they feel. But again, they feel like you have to release something. So it's a very divergent. It's almost like you guys are not on the same page. You want marriage. You want this person. The Empress card says you clearly are attracting them. And you are letting go, you're letting control go of anything that doesn't really uh, serve you. Let's look and see what we have. Why do we have this Five of Swords card here? So let's look at this energy. Five of Swords energy. Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords here? King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles is Taurus energy. And that Taurus energy is giving you a headache. So we have a lot of men here. There's a, there's a lot of masculine entities on the board. Well, tell us about the Knight of Cups. Clarified by the Knight of Cups. That's kind of crazy. Can't make that up. What were the chances of that? 1 in 140, 144. The Five of Coins says that you feel as though this person left you in the cold. clarified again by the Empress card, the Queen of Cups. You really do love this person. You really do love them, but it looks as though, it, I'll tell you what I see. I see a relationship that's beginning that looks like there is a former spouse or someone else outside of your relationship that is interfering. And Aerie, I mean Aquarius, you're not going to have it. I just don't see you willing to have it. I see you willing to just release because a devil card, you're not going to be manipulated. You don't want to have to deal with anybody else. You don't want any arguments. You want to have a win and a victory in love. You want to have someone who will be loyal to you, who will love you unconditionally. Um, you really are at a crossroads, Aquarius. You want equal give and take and you want your happiness. So we see that for you, this part, you're releasing this person because you just feel as though, you know, they had, they were bringing some energy here that didn't serve the relationship. Let's see why the Three of Cups is here. The Ace of Swords is they put you in the friend zone. You have clarity. Why is the Knight of Wands here? They, he left, they left you hanging. They didn't really make the commitment. They didn't step up. The Two of Swords says that when you tried to work things out, they didn't want to really hear it. It looks like they were very much in their ego. We get the Queen of Wands. And the reason I say ego is because they were not listening to you. So the Aries Queen is usually a wonderful personality. But they just, you know, they just didn't see it the way you saw it. The Nine of Pentacles, they see you as not needing them. Why are they holding on? Why are they holding on? They're just, you know, they think, well, you know, I'm invested. This is Aquarius energy. They think that you're going to get over this. And I don't really see you getting older over it. I see you taking a different path with the Two of Wands. So, but we'll see what the uh, mutual energy is here for you. This person's going to rush in to talk to you. They want to have a victory. They want you in their life. 
Aquarius, this is this is a very interesting reading because your person is you're just it's almost like I'm talking about two people who don't know each other. It's it's a very odd reading for them. It's complicated because they see you as their soulmate and you see them as a burden. You know, you see them very much as a burden. Patience, everything will unfold in divine timing. Okay, so we will see. What else do we have here for this coupledom? Apology. Okay. You can expect the apology you want to hear. And that's what this Five of Swords is about. That's what the King of Pentacles is about. You want a victory. They have to give it to you. Or else you are on the way out. You're looking for a different option. They do give you the apology, though. So your person comes in with a big apology. Okay, let's see what else we have for their energy. Here and now, your true love is already a part of your life. Okay, so they do see you as a soulmate. They come in, they, they ask for the reconciliation with the temperance. You know, you're going to be a big, you're going to be a stickler here, though. You're going to really, really make them talk about things, things that re, they're very reluctant to talk about. You've done the work. Abundance overflows to you now, Aquarius. So it does look like you're, you are not in the mood to compromise yourself. So that is your reading, Aquarius. It looks like you get the apology that you want. You have a reconciliation, and you are going to hold your person accountable, spiritually, emotionally, you know, and uh, in every way. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you.